Brigham and Women's Hospital has been a pioneer in heart and vascular care for many decades by making life-saving breakthroughs from the very beginning to the present day. The first successful valve operation in the world was done here at the Peter Ben Brigham in 1923. The Heart and Vascular Center, which was started basically in 1913 and is getting much more complex because the whole field is much more complex, as an integrated practice unit is the best thing that could ever happen for patient care and the Brigham has one of the longest traditions of this in the history of American medicine. The ACE inhibitor story in patients really is a Brigham and Women's Hospital story. Uh, came here to work with uh, Eugene Brownwald who had uh, really identified heart attacks as a dynamic process where in the first few hours you can save myocytes. We were able to lead a large study that proved that this therapy saves lives in patients following a heart attack. The remarkable thing about genetics and genomics is it can predict disease in advance of clinical manifestations. In cardiology, the times have never been better to really be able to prevent the devastating consequences of stroke, of heart attack, and of sudden cardiac death. And being able to do that is the most rewarding experience of being part of Brigham and Women's Hospital. I had the opportunity to run a very large 17,000 patient trial all over the world asking the question, could we give a statin to patients whose cholesterol levels are actually low, but who are at high risk because of inflammation, because of C-reactive protein? And that study showed a 50% reduction in first heart attacks, a 50% reduction in first stroke, and a 20% reduction in total mortality. It's an incredible story that really happened at a place like this at the Brigham. And I think we should be very proud of that. The understanding of the biology of inflammation in atherosclerosis has helped patients in many ways. First of all, by being able to help predict their risk. Secondly, by helping to determine which patients are most likely to benefit from certain treatments. And ultimately, we're understanding enough about the biology of inflammation and atherosclerosis to actually develop medications and treatments that target inflammation. Now, through innovation and unparalleled integration, the Heart and Vascular Center at BWH is poised to transform the future of cardiovascular care. What excites me the most about the future of the Cardiovascular Center is we don't just rest on our laurels, but are constantly measuring our process improvement, and that leads to advances that allow us to improve patient care on a continuing basis. We're committed to training the next generation, giving them every opportunity to express themselves and I have seen generation after generation come through to be leaders in academic medicine across the United States. The real future is by working as a team, we've had the opportunity to prevent many disorders and preventing bad outcomes from disorders. And it is that team approach where we understand each other's strengths and capitalize on those to really change the future of medicine. Integrated practice units are just the wave of the, wave of the future and the future is now. It's a bright future. It can happen, the biology is really exciting, and a lot of it's being done here.